What happened to Jordan Peterson? Serious. Mix of getting famous. And an benzo addiction. To treat the addiction they also did a pretty extreme treatment. He went to Russia to get put into a medically induced coma. He had to go to Russia because no doctor in the US would do that. He's always had that weirder aspect. Though, over time he just leaned into it more. No way to know how much of it was personal. Opportunistic playing to his audience. Or other issues like the drugs. It seems to me that the Peterson of the past was interested in exploring all sides of ideas and was happy to tread the middle ground with a focus on the human psychology aspects of an issue rather than the rights or wrongs of it. Over recent years he's engaged more with culture wars topics and now evidently perceives a threat, largely coming from woke ideology, captured institutions and the influence of global elites on our culture. In response, he has picked a side and now more frequently engages in opposition to ideas. He realized the more controversial and offensive things he says, the more attention he gets. His wife was diagnosed with a serious illness and it took a huge toll on his mental health. Unsurprisingly. Addiction, mental illness, and the corrupting influence of power, fame on the human mind. He kind of sucked to begin with. But he acquired literal and self-admitted brain damage during his medically induced coma during rehab in Russia for benzodiazepine addiction. And the benzos probably fried some of his noodle before that. He was always a charlatan. He creates associations with things that seem to him to be connected and presents those correlations as if they were facts. He jumps to conclusions and doesn't bother citing evidence. He makes ridiculous assertions and aims with little or no substantiation. He grossly misrepresents complex issues in overly simplistic ways and propagates harmful stereotypes with no regard for the damage they cause. He has done this throughout his entire career. Specifically his public speaking, philosophy, career. Now, he's just less adept at hiding it behind a thin veneer of false intellectualism and flowery diction. I don't begrudge him his mental health issues. I don't wish that on anyone. And hope he's able to find some peace and well-being. That still doesn't excuse his nonsense. I guess it just goes to show you that if you're calm, composed and seem intelligent you can convince people of just about anything. But the other side of the coin is, once you start to slip, people see right through you. He has always been teetering on the edge of absurdity. It is just that when he was getting popular no one turned a critical eye to his lectures that had made him famous. We got distracted by his weird manosphere nonsense. Like, he knows damn well that hypergamy isn't a real thing. But that doesn't stop him from talking about it like it is settled science and he is the expert in it. He defines the, just so, story. And has since he was simply recording his lectures to his college classes. If you go back and watch those, you will notice he makes a lot of prognostications without a lot of data to back it up. Or, he uses data badly. It is particularly evident when he talks about women and intelligence. I think he is actually a psychopath. He is smart enough to be calculating and manipulative. And he is. He has superficial charm. But when he talks about the dark triad, I think he is projecting. When he interprets Beauty and the Beast, he sees the beast's barely controlled rage as a good thing. I know of no sane person who has spent any time reading literature that thinks that the beast is fundamentally a gentle character who is driven to madness by the harassment of the townsfolk. The fact that he blushes over that entire part of the character's story is really telling. That is the thing about psychopaths. They aren't just violent people running off and murdering. They fit into society because, especially the intelligent ones, they can come off as normal. 
even smart and helpful. There is always an angle to that. With Jordan his need to manipulate is readily apparent if you pay attention to him. Plus, he dumped all of his patients when he became famous by putting it on his answering machine. Benzo's bucko. That dude was and still is a goober. He's psychologically unsound in many ways. He said a couple of things that I think are good advice. The rest comes from his goofy ass ego and his mental illness, Benzo and Twitter addiction. As well as his broken little sour heart. He was never pushing boundaries. He has always been a pretty weird guy echoing surface level stoic. Talking points. He's just another grifter. As someone who also has a graduate education in psychology what's unique to him is nonsense and what was of practical use were things an actual therapist would tell you anyway. Is this post removed or not? I'm still getting responses to it? Reddit really sucks at times. Nailed it. Feel the same way. Dude was always a charlatan. Anyone who speaks like they memorized a bunch of words from a thesaurus is trying to fool you. He is irrationally and uncontrollably frightened and somehow stumbled on a way to profit from this. There is no hope for him. Emo. Academic. Maps of Meaning was an interesting and useful neurocognitive take on the hero's journey archetype. He then overextended his own thesis in getting a bee in his bonnet about gender pronouns. This, and pretty much everything after, is him speaking way above his pay grade. He lost his license to practice. It's all been downhill since. Turns out he was a fascist asshat this entire time. Turns or you were wrong about him and the naysayers were right. The next time someone gets famous for taking up middle ground on human rights. Maybe listen to the critics. He began doubling down on being an asshole instead of teaching and motivating like he used to do. He completely lost the plot. And now he's captive of a right-wing audience who pays the bills. So the chances of him returning to anything resembling normalcy is close to zero. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.